First tonight, a crime alert some Raleigh parents need to know about. Someone busted into a home, tied up the people inside, and then stole from them. What's more concerning, if the criminals had hit on any other day, small children could have been inside. CBS 17's Kelly Kennedy live tonight. And Kelly, we know one suspect may be in custody, but others involved are still out there. Yeah, that's right. Three members of a Raleigh family zip tied and robbed at gunpoint inside their own home. Now, one of the most disturbing details about this case is that this family actually runs a daycare out of their home. But the family tells me since this happened over the holidays, no daycare kids were in the home. It's every family's worst nightmare. On December 17th, at least two men broke into a home on Slippery Elm Drive, kidnapping three people at gunpoint. 16 year old Vincent Terrell lives a few houses down. It was like the whole block, this whole block was filled up with police. Like from my house, to like the dead end over there. It was a lot of police. I spoke with a neighbor who did not want to be identified. She says this isn't the first time her neighborhood has been hit. Same house has been broken into. There was another house that was broken into last year right next door to it. So, you know, it's never you never know who they're targeting or why they're targeting those homes. But it just makes me sad because I own my house. So, you know, it's not like I can get up and go and move somewhere. I, this is where I have to live. So, you know, you'd want to be in a safer neighborhood. According to arrest warrants, the crooks zip tied the three family members while they ransacked their home. One of the victims is only 14 years old. It's crazy. I just didn't think it would happen. Happened in this type of neighborhood, you wouldn't think for it to happen like that. Russell Watkins. Police arrested 41 year old Russell Watkins on Monday. Watkins is accused of stealing several items, including a diamond ring and the keys to the family's Mercedes. Now, the Raleigh police are still searching for the other men involved in this robbery. If you have any information, contact the police department. Reporting live in Raleigh, I'm Kelly Kennedy for CBS 17 News.